flip and it doesn't hurt. That's what people have to understand. NASCAR does a great job. We're in there safe, but when you flip, you just slow down. You never hit a wall. I'd rather do that than hit a wall any day of the week, I promise. But uh, it was an easy one. Thank you, Brad, for pushing me to the lead. I mean, I was having a great time. Our Chevrolet was fast. You know, I mean, we, we were up front, which is, I show up, what, four times a year? And people think I'm crazy for loving this racing, but I love racing at Daytona and Talladega. I enjoy the crap out of this. And, and when I come with the Beard family, with that Chevrolet they give me with the ECR engine that Richard gives me, a little bit of help, we come to, to be here for the win. I mean, what were we, what was there enough to go? Eight to go, six to go, something like that. We had a chance to win. That's all I can ask for. It, it's, it is what it is. You nailed the landing. No, they said the Russian judge, politics, he docked me a couple points. He said I didn't put them all down at the same time. So, uh, you know, politics are nasty right now. So, screw them. You said you would do the Daytona 500 next year. Does this change any of those plans? You might have to call Michael Gaughan or Paula Gaughan to ask that question. Because I think right now, neither of them are very happy at the moment. Um, in 22 years of NASCAR racing, I flipped a ton in the desert. I've never flipped a stock car until now. So, my mother and father might be a little upset. I'm 44, but I still have a mommy and a daddy. And uh, I think they're probably a little hot at the moment, but I'll cool them down for a couple months. You can schmooze them. Yeah, schmooze them, Mom and Dad. How do you schmooze Michael Gaughan? It doesn't work. Friend, in your reaction, you were more animated about how the car was running and being so excited with how it ran. The car was great. I mean, look, I co we come four races. We come with a team that has two freaking race cars, and I'm kicking their butt out there running up front. Brad pushing me. I mean, how can I be upset about this? This is... This is absolutely what I come here to do, is try to go win a race, and we had a chance. It just, Stenhouse, <laughs> go figure. Any difference flipping a stock car, NASCAR versus a desert car? Yeah, it didn't last as long. Deserts go for a long time. This was just one. I've never done just one in an off-road car, so that was kind of new. It was kind of nice, actually, if you want the truth. And, and to see a fat old guy try to crawl out upside down, it wouldn't have been pretty. I mean, come on, it would have been really slow, not real sexy, so I'm glad it landed on its wheels. Thank you, Lord, for the help on that one. Thank you. Mr. Beard had some kind words on the radio for you guys, too, obviously. No, look, I mean, he, the, the, the family is absolutely wonderful. One of the things I say about this family, it's not because they're letting me drive the race cars. That's just damn true. They're great people, and uh, it's going to take some talking on my family to let me come back out of retirement again, but I'll try to, I'll try to talk. I've gone here, um, just got done with my flying lessons. We're okay, I promise you. The Beard Oil Chevy is not quite okay. We're okay. But you know what? We had a shot for the win. That's all I've ever asked for. And the Beard family has given me the best shot ever to win cup races. So thank you guys. Thank you for all the support. Appreciate everybody watching, tuning in, and the well wishes. I'm fine. I got nothing to hurt. We'll get her back ready for Daytona.